This section and the following sections will cover the assessment, intervention, and management of an adult with VF or pulseless VT, where the abnormal rhythm is recurrent or does not respond to the first shock. Instead of using an AED, which cannot detect a pulse, a manual defibrillator will need to be used. We will cover the management of VF or pulseless VT, the ECG artifact that resembles VF, and the new left bundle branch block. Proper management of these cardiac rhythms require the efforts of a full team. A resuscitation team is composed of various people with different responsibilities to the patient. One team member will be in charge of giving breaths and putting in an advanced airway if necessary. Another member is to be the compressor and is responsible for giving adequate compressions. There should be an observer or recorder who will keep track of the time that both CPR and medications are administered. One person will be responsible for administering the medications when needed, either via IV or IO. Another team member will act as monitor and defibrillator and is responsible for using the defibrillator and ensuring leads are attached appropriately. The team leader is usually a doctor who is responsible for the whole team and the complete health of the patient. Let's take a look at a scenario. You are on call at the ER and you see a man running towards you when all of a sudden he falls to the ground. You rush over to him and notice that he is holding his chest and is having difficulty breathing. After a few seconds, he loses consciousness. You must first assess the situation. Check him for responsiveness. Tap him and shout, are you all right? And look at his chest for any movement. Then when you check his carotid pulse, you determine no pulse is present. Call a code and get the code team in place. Now start the interventions. If there is no pulse, immediately start compressions at a rate of 100 compressions per minute and allow his chest to recoil. Follow the cycle of 30 compressions to two breaths. Once the teams are in place, one person will be responsible for the compressions and another for breaths using a bag valve mask. Attach a monitor to the patient and check for a shockable rhythm. If shockable, give the patient a shock of 120 to 200 joules and start CPR again. For further management, if the patient still does not have a pulse and does not respond to BLS, you will need to initiate the cardiac arrest algorithm. We discuss the cardiac arrest algorithm in depth and its application in this scenario in the following section. This was the chapter on ventricle fibrillation and pulseless ventricle tachycardia. Please proceed to the next section of this course to learn more.